So we're going to, I told you, we're going to do a little bit of fantasy. Hopefully you guys dig this. Uh, so I've been kind of just doing some looking around on Instagram, Facebook, and a lot of times people bring up these different concepts. And some of them, I'll be honest, I think they're absolutely ridiculous. And I think they're not even like worth having a conversation. But every once in a while, there's one that I go, mm, maybe, you know. So uh, let's talk about a few of those. And I'm just going to put an image up. And uh, some of them I have to give a little bit of a context, but some of them kind of speak for themselves. So this first one here, this is an old school picture. Mm -hmm. Andre Ward, uh, Floyd Mayweather with their mm -hmm. records under them. Right. So my question to you, Peter, mm -hmm. is which record is most impressive considering the two gentlemen and the resumes? You know, I would say I, for me, it would be equal, equal ground. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I, I, I mean, I, I think that for the most part, they both fought everyone they should have fought. They might have kind of uh, delayed some fights, uh, but overall i mean i know you know i know you want me to pick one and make an argument but neither of them knows what losing feels like mm -hmm. both and of them andre andre really doesn't know because andre hasn't lost a fight since he was like eight <laughs> but, they, they, but they but wasn't there a point where he wasn't really fighting meaningful fights or having some inactivity I didn't yeah, that was later. That was when uh, you, uh, mean, look, you, uh, that you was can... when our friend Steve Kim had him as his pu public enemy number one. <laughs> he was I mean, constantly I mean, at him. You, you can argue the the uh, eighteen additional wins by Mayweather is just you know very powerful. Yeah, I mean eighteen more fights. I mean fights are fights. Yeah. So you can say that those eighteen more fights. Um, I just think they're both spectacular fighters, two Hall of Famers. So I, you know. For me to pick, I mean, if I had a pick, I would say, well, Mayweather has 50, Ward has 32, and therefore, uh, I would say Mayweather. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I think that Mayweather might have had more, I think he would have had more monumental wins on his record, and I think that's just a function of the divisions that he's fought in and the competitors that were in there that might have been higher profile and better competitive fights, even though Ward took care of business and did what was in front of him. and unbelievable fighter i mean great fighter to watch i mean anyone that wants to learn the sweet science and and the, i mean you can watch both these guys mm -hmm. and, and you can take their styles and look at all the things they do right mentally and physically and and say that they're just you know both you know to the best but i mean if we're trying to if i if i had to pick somebody in this case i, I would just say the 18 additional fights on on mayweather's record would would set him apart yeah, yeah. I, and in some ways, I think it's tough whenever you get into a situation where you're comparing guys who fought in different weight classes, yeah. the guy who is the heavier one generally had is at a bit of a disadvantage. And because there's there's less places for him to go in terms of because most guys who are larger, they're not going to come down and fight. They only go up. And the heavier they are, heavier they are, the less room it is for them to move up because it gets to a point where even if you start at well to weight and end up fighting as high as 168, it, it, it's probably it's, it's very difficult to imagine you going up any higher than that. Case in point, we're just talking about Canelo today. Uh, Canelo's height is what it is. It's not probably even realistic to to even think about him fighting above light heavy so he has this 154 to 175 kind of scheme you look at somebody like pacquiao who came from so far down so far up even someone like uh henry armstrong he started off very low in weight and moved up with higher weight classes so i think the smaller guy generally has an advantage if you're looking at it that way but i also look at it from a standpoint of the amount of Hall of Famers mm -hmm. on on a resume. And I do think that a lot of that is Floyd's, a function. Floyd's going to have the advantage there. Yeah, I do think a lot of that is a function of the weight class. Obviously, Ward fought a lot. The era. And, the era. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Ward, you know. Yeah. Ward fought a lot at 168. And uh, outside of the super six tournament that he was in and won when he fought very good fighters in that time period there wasn't a lot of 
you know, noteworthy competition that he fought before that. Uh, then he goes up to 175, and of course right. he beats Kovalev twice, which is a is, right. is a strong victory. He beat Chad Dawson, right. which is another strong victory. Uh, so he has some very solid wins right. on his on his resume, but he doesn't have wins over the P, over guys like Pacquiao, Canelo, Cotto. Mosley, even though he was past his prime, yep. Juan Manuel Marquez, De La Hoya, Ricky Hatton, Zab Judah, you know, all of these guys, um, Jose Luis Castillo, uh, Mor Morales, yeah. Diego Morales, Diego Morales, which in right. my opinion is still Floyd's best victory. And that's still the best. The That fight, if you want to see right. what I would consider the absolute best of Floyd. Yeah. Watch him against Diego Corrales. Well, you can argue that Floyd lost to Castillo. Um, I no, that is that that's you, that is you, that's you, my you, point. But you can argue that if Ward fought in the era of Roy Jones Jr. and James Tony, he may not have made it out of that division unscathed. So I mean, yeah. there's a lot of things we could say. Oh my him. God, Whew. Andre Ward, James Tony. You want to talk about a fantasy fight? I'm just saying, like that would be a beautiful yeah. fight. But that's the whole shoulda, coulda, woulda, maybe. What yeah. if? I mean, we we could do that. But to answer your question, I'm going to stay with Floyd Mayweather because just the additional 18 wins and uh, the the level of opposition. Yeah, yeah, I would take nothing away from Andre Ward. Though. Nothing away from I, I, Andre Ward did everything he could do with what he had Absolutely. in front of him. So it definitely. And All right. Funk, yeah. Yeah. Definitely.